sixth grade, module four, lesson 27, classwork. Example one, solve three Z, or that means three times Z is equal to nine using tape diagrams and algebraically. Then check your answer. So it's gonna walk us through it step by step. So it says first, draw two tape diagrams, one to represent each side of the equation. So we're gonna draw two tape diagrams for one for each side. So we're gonna have one, two. So this one can be three Z. And this can be nine. Or instead of doing it three Z, if we wanna make it a little bit easier, we could even separate it into three different Z's. So we have three Z, is equal to nine. If nine had to be split into three groups, how big would each group be? So nine split into three groups, each group would be three. Demonstrate the value of Z using tape diagrams. So we took the nine and we split it into three equal groups and each one was three, so each of these is z, so z is equal to 3. How can we demonstrate this algebraically? So we know we have to split 9 into 3 equal groups, and so to do that we can we divide by 3. So it's just like what we were doing before, so the equation was 3z equals 9, so it was three times z is equal to nine. So just like what we were doing before, where with addition and subtraction, where we, if it was like three z plus three equals seven, we would then just subtract three. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we can do three times z, and then to cancel that times three out, we can divide by three is equal to, but remember what we do on one side, we must do on the other. So nine divided by three. So what I've added here is divided by three, but since we did it on both sides, the equation is gonna stay equal. So three times z divided by three is just z, because three divided by three is one. So it's just nothing. So z, and, or, and since we're multiplying, it's not nothing, since we're multiplying, times one, we don't need it to be there. So you could say one times z, but one times z is just z. So z is equal to nine divided by three, which is three. How does this get us the value of z? So let's see. Um, so the left side of the equation will equal z because we know the identity property where we can switch place. Um, I'll list out the identity property here in a second. The identity property where a times b divided by b equals a. So we can, so we use this here. Here, like what we did above, where it was nine divided by three is equal to three. So the value of z is three. How can we check our answer? So we can substitute three for z. So it was three z equals nine. So three times three equals nine. So it does work because three times three is nine. 
All right, example two, solve y over four, that means y divided by four, is equal to two, using tape diagrams and algebraically. Then check your answer. First, draw two tape diagrams, one to represent each side of the equation. So two tape diagrams. So the first one is y divided by four. The second one is, so that is equal to, whatever y divided by four is, is equal to two. If the first tape diagram shows the size of y divided by 4, how can we draw a tape diagram to represent y? So y divided by 4 is just something split into four equal parts. So we should have 4, so the tape diagram, to represent y, should have four sections of y divided by four. So we'll draw that tape diagram. So we have y and then four sections of y divided by four. What value does each y divided by four section represent? How do you know? So if we go back up here, it says y divided by four is equal to two. So each of those sections is equal to two because that's what the equation tells us. because the original equation states that. How can you use a tape diagram to show the value of y? So what we could do is we know that y divided by four is equal to two, and we had those four sections of y divided by four and we know that all of these are two. So I'm just gonna replace them all with two. Remember, so this is all the size of y. So that means that y is equal to two, four, six, eight. How can we demonstrate this algebraically? So we had y divided by four was equal to two. So to cancel out the y divided by four, I'm going to do y divided by four times four is equal to two. Since I added times four here to cancel out the divided by four, I need to do times four here also so that they match on both sides. So y divided by four times four is just y is equal to two times four, eight. So y is equal to eight. How does this help us find the value of y? So the left side of the equation will equal y and the right side will equal eight. So y equals eight. How can we check our answer? We can substitute eight for y and see if it's true. So is eight over four equal to two or eight divided by four equal to two? Yes, so it is true. Exercises number one, use tape diagrams to solve the following problem. Three M equals 21. 
So we have, I'll draw two tape diagrams. 3m is equal to 21. So we have 21 and then one that's the exact same size and we have 3m. So three different m's is equal to 21. So if we were to take those m's and split it into three equal parts, 21 into three equal parts would be seven. So each of those m's are seven. So you can see m is the same size as seven, or m is equal to seven. And we can check to make sure it's true. Is three times seven equal to 21? It is. Solve the following problem algebraically. 15 is equal to n over five. I'm gonna change that to n divided by five, just to look at it so it's easier to look at. Um, and to get rid of n divided by five, I need to multiply five five. So n divided by five times five, since I added times five onto the end there, I need on the other side to do 15 times five. So I've done the same thing on both sides. So 15 times five is 75, and n divided by five times five would just be n, or be n divided by one, which is n. So 75 is equal to n, and we can make sure that's true by doing is 15 equal to 75 over five, or is 15 equal to 75 divided by five, and it is. Calculate the solution of the equation using the method of your choice. So I'm gonna do algebraically. So four times P is equal to 36. So to get P alone, I'm gonna do four times P I need to get rid of the times four, so to counteract that, I'm gonna do divided by four, which means I need to do divided by four on the right side as well. So this is just gonna be P is equal to 36 divided by four, which is nine. So we can check to make sure that P is equal to nine by doing four times nine is equal to 36, which it is. Number four, examine the tape diagram below and write an equation it represents. Then calculate the solution to the equation using the method of your choice. So we have a whole that is equal to 70, and then there's a bunch of Q's. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Q's. So it looks like seven Q's is equal to 70. So my equation would be 7q is equal to 70. So let's solve that. You can either solve that with the tape diagram. I'm going to solve it algebraically. So 7 times q. To get rid of the 7, I'm going to divide it by 7. It would be equal to 70 divided by 7. So that's what I've added. So this is just going to be q is equal to 70 divided by 7. 10. So Q should be equal to 10, and we can check that. Is 7 times 10 equal to 70? It is. Number 5. Write a multiplication equation that has a solution of 12. Use tape diagrams to prove that your equation has a solution of 12. Okay, so we just want something to be equal to 12. So, like, if we wanted 3m, so I want m to equal 12. So if I want m to equal 12, 3 times 12 is 36. So I know my solution is 12. So let's draw tape diagrams to prove that we have a solution of 12. And you can come up with many different possibilities. This is just the one I've chosen. So 3m is equal to 36. So then if we were to take the 36 and split it into equal pieces, 36 into three equal pieces is 12. So therefore, M 
is equal to 12. Again, many different correct answers because it asked us to create our own. So there are countless correct answers here. Number six, write a division equation that has a solution of 12. Prove that your equation has a solution of 12 using algebraic methods. So we want our solution to be 12. So at this time, I'm gonna say that D is equal to 12. So if I use D divided by, so just think of something we can divide 12 by, like four. So D divided by four should be equal to three. So let's use algebra to solve that and make sure that D is gonna equal 12. So D divided by four, in order to cancel out the divided by four, we need to multiply by four, is equal to three times four. Because what we do on this right side, we must do on the left side, vice versa. So D, because D divided by four times four would just be D divided by one, which is D, is equal to three times four is 12. So D is equal to 12, and we can check that by doing 12 divided by four equals three, and that is true. And that is the end of this classwork.